Balloons, more than 80 of them released this afternoon, each with the name of a miner who'd lost his life working at Slymane Colliery, once the deepest coal mine in Europe. And the sounding of a colliery hooter, heard for the first time in this village since the pit closed 50 years ago. These from nearby Gresford and St Henneth in South Wales sounded in tribute to the miners from North and South who'd lost their lives. This day is all about uh, giving the people of Clyde the opportunity to remember their colliery, which uh, closed uh, 50 years ago. So 50 years ago to this day, uh, the last shift uh, came up the pit. A lot of people don't realise probably that uh, 80 miners died here uh, at Thigh Main uh, during those uh, relatively short number of years, uh, just over 40 years I think, uh, that the mine was in operation for. And to lose that number of, uh, of men is very significant. Indeed, it was a very special day for the relatives of the Sly men who died in pit accidents and who were invited to this event, including 94-year-old Clifford Hughes, who lost his brother George. So the day like this, what does a day like this mean to you? Oh, a lot. I've seen a lot of people that I used to work with. We were in a reserved occupation during the war and uh, we were vital. And for those who worked at Slymane Connery, it was a very special day indeed, bringing back many memories. It was a way of life. That, that was the way we, we was told. You know, you, the youth are going off. It was the, you knew what time it was because it went off the same time every day. Well, you knew it was the end of, end of the day shift and, and the start of the afternoon shift when the U2 was going off. Yeah. And it was just an integral part of the, of the village. It was, it was part of the fibre of the yeah. village. The contribution and indeed sacrifice these proud miners made will never be forgotten here. Ian Lang, ITV News, Sigh.